Hi, my name is Laura Batante. This is my two bits, and today I'm going to show you how to make this adorable little boo uh, felt finger puppet. So for this project, we are going to need felt in three colors, and you do not need very much. Uh, you need a little, you know, at least a half sheet of the mauve for the puppet, but then you only need a little tiny piece of black for her hair, even smaller amount of white for the teeth, and then a little bit of pink for her face. You will also need the template, which is available for free. Just download it, it's right there in the video notes. Embroidery floss, we are going to need one uh, mauve that matches the felt, one that's a little bit darker for the stitching, some gray, and that's just to tie the mop uh, with and uh, tie it on. But again, um, if you don't have that, uh, it wouldn't be um, the end of the world. And then if you want to do the eyes as a French knot, you're going to need a little bit of black. Along with that, for those who are going to draw the face on, I've used a black pen and a pink pen. These are both gel pens. You're going to need a gray pipe cleaner along with two googly eyes. These are 5 8 or 15 millimeters, I believe. And uh, of course an embroidery floss needle and then some paper clips to hold your stencil onto your felt while you cut. Um, good scissors. You need good scissors for cutting. And then you need the yarn for uh, the mop. I have a kind of a lightish gray color here. And then you need some glue. Now I've used the felt and foam tacky glue. I love it. But you could use uh, regular tacky glue if you have it. Or if you don't have that, um, you could use the white glue. Uh, just use it sparingly because it's a little bit wetter and it will tend to sort of soak through your felt. So the first thing that we're going to do is just cut our pieces apart and get rid of all that excess paper that we don't need. And then we are going to cut out our felt, also uh, just a small piece, and then we'll just attach it with um, our paper clips so that it doesn't move while we cut it. And then the reason that I like the paper clips is because they just slide around so easily. Um, like you literally could kind of move them like that. The thing is you, you want to be very careful because felt stretches quite easily. So you, you really want to make sure that you don't stretch the felt while you're cutting or working with it and um, that you're cutting accurately because you'll find felt is a funny thing. Uh, you think you're cutting a curve and you pull the template off and you're like, what happened to the curve? Those are straight lines. But not to worry because it's also very forgiving. So um, I can see that I didn't cut in far enough there. I'm going to take my smaller scissors and go back before I even reveal. So there you go. You can see that that's kind of a wonky ear. Sometimes you just need to turn it over and have a look-see um, because of the thickness of the felt. It, it Sometimes that will make it look awkward and if you just sort of take off that little bit that looks funny on the one side when you flip it over it looks great so don't panic just you know sort of work at it a bit it doesn't have to be 100% exactly like the stencil it's still all gonna work okay so we're gonna cut all our pieces okay so I'm just gonna show you my strategy for cutting out the mauve before you get going I've cut out one that is going to be the back of the puppet. And now I'm going to cut out two together that are going to be the front of the puppet. And that's just so that they are as close to being the same as possible because as you know with felt it can be a little bit tricky. Sometimes the pieces aren't exactly identical so no worries on that. So I'm just going to cut out two together here for the front and then I will cut one of those whole pieces up here and here but do that at the end after you've cut everything 
because otherwise you won't have enough template pieces. So if that happens, of course, you just have to print out another template, but if you do it this way, you won't have a problem. So we're just gonna cut that out. That way those two pieces absolutely match up. And then once we get that done, then I'm gonna just take this top piece off and I'm gonna cut out this top chunk that I need. Put it on top. Whoops. And then I'm gonna cut out the bottom piece that I need. And of course you could put the paper clip on, but I'm doing this fast. There we go. All right, so the very first thing that we're going to do is put the lines on. Uh, this would be the stitching of the sofa fabric um, on Boo's costume there. So if you don't want to do this extra sewing, you could use a purple pen and put the lines on, or you could leave the lines off if you don't want to do that. Otherwise, uh, we are gonna take our embroidery needle and some of the darker thread and we're just going to put a few stitches across now the key is to not sew right up to the edge we want to stay in that way we're on the inside of our sewing line when we're done i think it looks neater that way otherwise it gets too busy all right so next up is the face and i'm just going to put my template down and poke through with my pen for eye placement. Now, I have tried a few different methods for the face. I have used acrylic paint, which I didn't have the best brush, so it got a little away from me there. And here I did a French knot. And I like the French knot, but um, I have very thin pink felt, and so you can sort of see the knots and stuff, and I didn't like that. So I am going to go with my uh, black ink pen and just draw on some eyes. Now I like the pen better than a Sharpie. Um, I don't know. I think that for some reason it just it always ends up a bit fuzzy for me. So I'm just using the gel pen. I mean the nose is almost not necessary but I'm just going to pop it in and there you go. All done. Actually, just before we start putting all of the uh, bits together, I'm going to show you how I make the um, eyes up at the top. So I'm using a gray uh, pipe cleaner and I'm just going to uh, roll this up and I'm rolling it up till it's uh, big enough to leave a bit of a outline around the um, eyeball and then I'm just going to bend it and then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side and I have found that uh, it works so that I can use this one whole piece and I don't have to cut it which is nice because then you don't have any sharp edges and then we're just going to put some glue on and attach those right there and I have a set of these done that I have already glued right here. So we will start putting the whole thing together. So first thing we're going to do is with the bottom on, uh, or keeping track of where the bottom is anyway, we're going to start trying to figure out the placement for the face. There you go. Not bad. I'm feeling confident about the face placement anyway, and that's the one we're going to glue right away. Um, one thing I do try to do is keep the area where I'm going to sew um, free of all these layers. So if I feel like that hair is just a little bit in the way, I can just trim that. That is not going to be a problem at all. That part's not seen. So putting that back, I feel like the face is good. I'm going to hold her in place. Take that off. 
take these out and then I'm going to use my glue oh look I <laughs> everything sticks to felt and then I'm going to uh, put some glue down there I'm putting the glue in the forehead area that doesn't matter you're not gonna really see it and then again what's great about this glue is you don't really notice it the only thing that I really want to do is make sure that I don't put glue where I'm going to be sewing that just makes it harder to sew okay so we're just going to keep doing this now put this back in place and now we're going to get the placement of those lower teeth again All right, I finished putting the teeth in place. And now just before we do that, put the last piece on, we're going to put the um, eyes in. So a little glue there, again, out of the uh, sewing zone. We'll sew, uh, when we go to stitch, we'll make sure that we stitch over each of those pieces. And then we'll get some glue here. right and we are good to go all right so I've started my sewing and as uh, you recall I mentioned earlier that we're not going to do the little ponytails in there and then up here at the top we're just going to uh, try to get on either side of the pipe cleaner that just helps hold it in place uh, it's not difficult to get around them at all. There we go. And so now we're just going to finish that off and we'll do the mop and we will be done. All right, for the mop at the top, I just took my yarn and I wrapped it around my hand about six times, tied it off with my embroidery floss. Uh, I attached it and then I cut it. And so now it's just a matter of trimming it you know how you like the key is to um, cut them all different lengths you don't want it to be all the same well there we are boo's all done looks super cute i hope you enjoyed uh, making her with me today um, i also for those of you who haven't done any of my videos before have sully so just take a look in the channel videos and you'll find him um, i also plan to create a few more of the monsters ink cast so um, please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on that. And if you liked this video, then please give me a like. Thanks very much for joining me today.